What is up everyone? This is Totally Random, back here with another video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and join my channel. And make sure you hit the bell for notifications. Um, Alright guys, so everything that happened at Comic Con regarding DC, you know, was um, first off with Wonder Woman 1984, Shazam, and Aquaman. Um, So I want to say exactly, I didn't get a, while I was watching Chris's live stream during that time, I didn't really see what happened i saw little clips here and there i didn't exactly watch the interviews with uh, patty jenkins but i knew um i know what she, somewhat what she said she said that this was gonna be very different from wonder woman she said it wasn't like a sequel or something along the lines but she said it was gonna be very different the plot and everything it's gonna feel very different from wonder woman which i'm completely happy with because to be honest with you i've said this many times i didn't really care for the movie i mean i liked i loved gal gadot i loved chris pine they were amazing in the movie, but everything else about it was okay. The action sequences were good, except the ending one. Um, but the whole plot, I was very disappointed in. I was expecting an amazing plot. My initial reaction after watching the movie, I was just like, that plot, though, I mean, it was so obvious. You knew that that, was, that wasn't Ares, the general, and all that stuff. You knew it immediately. But um, and I was like, I love. I still liked it. I loved the movie. Um, but then I really hated it when they started They saying it was an amazing movie because of feminism. I got annoyed with that, you know. And I started not liking the movie as much because of that. I hate it because that stuff makes me, the SJW politics make me not like a movie when they just keep pushing it, you know. Maybe I would have enjoyed Black Panther more if they didn't say blah, all this, you know, stuff about, I don't know, but all that stuff. But uh, um, if you do not want to hear any spoilers about the little clip that happened in um, at Comic-Con with Wonder Woman, I'm going to read the little synopsis about what happened uh so if you want to skip ahead skip ahead um so wonder woman lands in the mall in full costume with the little girl saying oh my gosh as wonder woman tosses her into a plush bear while apprehending two gunmen and crushing their guns she hips her lasso around then runs on the other direction less off the platform to the level below then she runs down the street in full dash mode in full costume clip ends um and there was nothing much about Cheetah. They also talked about they didn't uh, Kirsten Wig. None of them um, came on. Nothing about that. But um, and they also Patty Jenkins avoided it like a savage when someone asked him about asked her about uh, Chris Pine. She just like said something else and just moved on. So I was like, wow. Uh, but yeah, the what was I about to say? The plot, the little clip thingy. Apparently, I didn't. I haven't watched it. I've seen like little tidbits, little you know, little um, leaked footage. But I've heard that it wasn't looking properly done, the stuff. But that's because they're, they're still filming, you know. So they just had to show this little clip just to get the audience excited. So it's not perfect. It's going to be perfect by the time it comes out in November of 2019, which is a while from now. So they got plenty of time. I'm uh, So I'm excited for this movie. I'm excited for the fact that she said it was going to be different. It's not a sequel. She said it wasn't like a sequel or something along the lines like that. But uh, so I'm excited for it. Um, one thing, though, I would have preferred if I was you know some way involved in the film i would have preferred them just go straight away to the modern day because in batman v superman she said she's turned away from mankind for 100 years um and you don't want to really ruin the kind of the thing about it but and this is uh it doesn't make sense even in the justice league um what's it batman or ben affleck or bruce wayne says to her where have you been these past 100 years something like that or but until now where were you you were never involved and if she's a 1980 woman to woman 1984 she's clearly gonna be in there so people I'm assuming around the world are going to see her and know that she's there. So it doesn't really flow with the previous movies. But uh, you know what? We'll see. Um, and on to Shazam and Aquaman. Obviously, we got the two trailers. I was actually really surprised about Shazam because the movie just finished filming recently, like a month or two, a couple months ago. Um, so I'm really surprised. But I, what I've heard is that production went really smoothly, really quickly. Everything just went straight away and warner bros was surprised how fit it how quickly they finished it and everything so they were able to get a trailer out quickly um they were talking apparently about moving up the movie because uh infinity war is coming out at the same time that shazam comes out so they're really happy that it's got production's gone quickly so i'm assuming they already have like a rough cut of the film i'm assuming they're going to start having like those test screenings soon i know they've had some for aquaman but uh, i'm assuming they're gonna have some for shazam soon and uh, aquaman trailer you know this um one thing i was worried about this film is that there wasn't gonna be so much hype around it but there is 
there is a lot of hype around this. It's like trending both Shazam and Aquaman. So I'm really happy for that because I'm also worried because uh, there was never uh, any trailers, nothing. We got, I know there are apparently some test footage, some stuff they showed back at, I think, last year's Comic Con or the something in March. I don't know. Um, but they never had a trailer out and the movie was like coming closer and closer. And usually by now we'd have had a trailer. Like Justice League, granted, trailer all the way back, like way before the movie was coming out, like back in early January, March, somewhere around there, um, and this movie was like, it's only like, what is it, seven months, uh, we got like four months till the movie comes out, so it's like, you're gonna release a trailer, you need to release it sooner or later, and then we see the trailer finally, and you know, I love the trailer, it's awesome, um, the, some stuff, I know people have been saying about the visuals, but you know, they have that four months between now and then to get it down, um, James Wan has said, like, it's very difficult, the visual effects for this movie. And, yeah, I totally agree with him. This is underwater. It's nothing that's been, it's something that hasn't really been done before. We've seen stuff with other movies underwater, but not this to this extent where, like, the whole movie is taking place underwater. But um, I'm excited for the movie, you know. I love the trailer. Um, I love Jason Momoa as Aquaman. He's super amazing. Um, that's like I said before, thanks to Zack Snyder for picking him out. Um... But, and then the next thing was Shazam, as I said before, the two, um, com I want to compare the two trailers. I probably initially said in my video that I may have enjoyed, I, th I never, I don't know if I ever said it, but I actually kind of enjoyed Shazam's trailer a little bit more, probably, after, I watched both trailers so many times, and I just like Shazam the trailer better for some reason. Um, the humor in that movie seems very, like, authentic, not that Marvel type, as I said before, it seems just, like, natural. Um, one thing I know I hate is how, you know, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, this is what I've heard, I've never, I'm honest with you, I've never watched the show, I've heard it's good, but then some people, um, have said, like, a lot of movies now have just, that move, that show has set this sort of, like, little, it's a sort of effect on movies and TV shows today where they just borrow and use that same style of humor. I bear, and I really believe it because, um, after I, watching the Avengers, that style of humor that Josh Whedon incorporated. I'm assuming that was similar to what he did in um, in in Buffy the Vampire Slayer and uh, Firefly. Because I've watched Serenity, that, sh that like movie that was kind of uh, went off of uh, Firefly. And I remember thinking that the humor in this movie is actually really similar to the Avengers. And I was like, oh yeah, it's Josh Whedon. So, and seeing some of that stuff was in, that, in the Justice League, which was terrible. But, um, you know, uh, so um, I see... All these Marvel movies have that same humor after the Avengers, that same style, and it's kind of very annoying for me. I don't find it funny. I still don't get why people laugh at it. It's not really funny, but, you know, like, there's stuff from the movies that are funny in Marvel, but sometimes it's, like, it's not really funny. I don't know why people are laughing and having, like, like crying from laughing, so I'm like, it's not that funny. But, um, and apparently a lot of movies and TV shows are using that style of humor from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, so I don't think that's good. I was watching, um... Uh, comic artist pro secrets today and he was saying how it's not good that movies are trying to use that same style of humor he said it's like i don't remember what he said but he said it's not good but um anyway you know this dc is looking up or the worlds of dc i don't know what it's gonna be called they didn't officially say that that's just what it was called at comic-con but um it's gonna be exciting um so next uh the snyder cut you know i know a lot of people were expecting it to be at comic-con i really wasn't because the more I had to think about it, the, the more I was like, I was like, maybe we'll get something if Zack Snyder's there. I mean, he's like 15 minutes away. Based on what we know, it seems like it was just a coincidence that he just, it just, just by total, on a, a, just by some random force of nature, he just happened to be there at the same time. Uh, maybe he was there, like dressed up as someone. He just went there just for fun and no one knew that he was there just to watch it. I don't know. But I don't think they were ever going to announce a Snyder Cut at Comic Con because they've never, first of all, they've never done it. Um, and they want to focus on the new movies uh, with Wonder Woman 1984, Shazam, Aquaman, all that. They want to move past that disaster of the Justice League. Um, but I know they will be releasing the Snyder Cut soon. Uh, it's only a matter of time. As I've said before, uh, they, with the, like, the Donner, with Superman 2, that, that cut, peop the amount of people who wanted that was nowhere near the amount for the Snyder Cut. Like, this thing has gained so much since the um justice league came out last november so warner rose knows that or they know like hey the people want this there's so much a big there's a big thing about it oh we'll make money off of it you know 
they we filmed everything. We have the cut, you know, just some VFX needs to be finished in here and that. Zack Snyder can work on it if he wants to. It's up to him, you know, um, and he can release it, you know. Obviously, the studio has to approve him releasing it, but um, I don't know how about that, how long that's going to take, you know, stuff like that. But I think Zack Snyder knows. The fans want it. He, um, if he was still there, this is probably what have been released. Um, with rumors and stuff saying that he's been working on it. Yeah, I believe he's working on it, but I don't think he's, like, literally working. Like, he's done everything he's supposed to do. He's just there watching the cuts and making sure it's like, okay, move this shot there and so don't have that shot, you know, this here and that. Um, like the VFX and music, he can't do anything about it. He's not the person who makes that, so he's just there to like supervise and watch and see if it's good. While while that's going on, he's probably working on the fountainhead. Um, my biggest hope for this, um, for like this upcoming slate after, you know, when they finally announce Green Lantern, you know, finally um, get the Man of Steel two that people have been asking for forever finally get that out you know maybe for justice league 2 this is what i've been hoping is that they'll say Zack snyder's directing it because it'll be a while from now before that comes out so like Zack snyder could work on the fountainhead still do that um possibly work on the last photograph i don't know when that one's coming out but possibly work on that before they finally announce justice league 2 but what's really getting me annoyed is that at Comic-Con, Warner Bros. didn't announce anything else about the other stuff. They didn't say anything about, like, the Joker movie, Suicide Squad 2, you know, like, Birds of Prey. But <laughs> three of those movies I don't really care about, though. There's three movies I don't care about. But it would be, I guess, for the other TC people who really, really, really want that stuff, it would be nice for them to hear that. But, I like, the most thing that ticks me off is, like, nothing about Man of Steel 2, which people have been asking for forever. Um, nothing about the Flash movie, um... Yeah, and nothing about Batman. You know, like, those stuff people have been wanting to know uh, for, like, forever. Uh, and it's it's really, really annoying, you know. Um, that, like, the we, the audience, have to... What is that word? We have to, like... Okay, we know this stuff that's already coming out. But, like, are you going to talk about what's going to come up after this? You know, give us a little slate... Because I feel like Marvel usually does something like that. But, uh, nope. We didn't, uh, we, um, uh, we didn't, uh, get anything about it. But, um, there's one thing I wanted to talk about, um, just quickly. This, um, about Syrian Hines. And, um, you know, he played Steppenwolf. Uh, and he was very, very very disappointed in uh you know what the justice league he was very disappointed because his his character was the main criticism of the movie how it's like uh yo dude what's your little thing with this whole mother box this whole i know we know you want invader but why why do you want to um there's actually i can't i'm trying to find the quote for it um it's it was a great uh great quote but uh I saw it thanks to Comic Movie Marks. I remember talking about this, but I'm trying to find what he said. I know Syrian Hines hated um, what he said, in, uh, what they saw in theaters, you know. He uh, does not, he didn't like it. Uh, I'm trying to find the exact same. I saw it in Comic Movie Marks. I'll just look it up right now on their, um, their channel. Comic, was it Comic Movie Marks? Yeah. Uh, it was the video and they talked about the... If you did not watch their video about them ripping... When they ripped up the... Uh, whatever you call it. the um, That terrible article, you know, about the... The... Whatever it's called, the Wall Street Journal. But everything... That whole thing was, like, really, really good. But uh, I'm gonna... I'm trying to look for... Syrian Hines thing. Okay, I found it. Um, this is what exactly what he's... Oh, crap. Okay, this is what he said. Um, Sharon Hines, this is what he said about the Justice League, about the Justice League. He said, that wasn't the movie I worked so hard on. We hope that the director's cut comes out because it was better than the movie in, theater, in the theaters. So, I don't... That's another... That's a main, main cast person saying he does not like what he saw in theaters. I don't blame him because you know how terrible his character was. The CG on him his whole build up his backstory was just crap all we just see is this little thing like oh he came to invade earth why we don't know he wanted to do the mother box together and you know 
I don't even explain what happens when the mother boxes come together. You know, we didn't get any backstory. Nothing. We just like, oh, he just wants to put the mother box together somehow and invade Earth. And yeah, that's why. Why does he want? We don't know. No backstory. But Zack Snyder had all that doubt for him. He had everything. You know, his mother's force was trapped in that box. Um, and he wanted her help to help him defeat Darkseid because he was... His nephew was like control. It was he was under his nephew, you know, all this stuff. Who wants to be trapped under the nephew? And you know, Darkseid's such a douchebag. I mean, that's I'm not saying it in a bad way. Like I'm saying he's a he's a bad guy. He's a mean guy. You don't want to um, be working for him. But his uh, Syrian Hines' his character was completely crapped on. Like his character was so bad. This movie, like I wasn't even scared of his character. I he probably knows what Zack Snyder and them worked on was this like terrifying evil dude who wants to uh, get the mother boxes. Free his mother and defeat Darkseid. Um, and he knows that Darkseid wants to come to Earth because of the anti-life equation and all this stuff. But none of that was there. And he knows everything was terrible about it. That this wasn't like he, what he put his effort into the movie was nowhere near what was supposed to be in theaters. But um, that's what I want to just say quickly about Syrian Hines. But um, to tie back on the Snyder Cut, don't give up hope. As I said before, it's going to come out. Um... Film Junkie actually said, I never knew what his source was, but he said that um, someone emailed him. If you watched his live stream with Chris Wong Swenson last night, he they emailed, or he said that um, this guy emailed him, uh, Insider, and then he didn't, like, obviously he didn't believe. He was like, oh, I don't believe. And then apparently something happened, like, the next day or something. Zack Snyder wanted to connect with him on Vero, and I was like, oh, he was like, now I believe him. So, I mean, I'm honestly going to just trust um, Dave, from now on, for the film junkie, when he says something, but he has said it should be coming, it's gonna come out, but he, like I said, he believed, I don't think it will happen at Comic-Con, doesn't make sense, which, yeah, definitely, it didn't happen, um, I think, as I've said before, it's gonna come out, like, soon, I know Comic Movie Marks in their movie today, in their video today, they said to, um, shoot emails or letters to Warner Bros., on what november 17th this year like a year afterwards but honestly i would do that i wouldn't wait so long to do it i'd wait, do it earlier but uh keep pestering warner bros you know keep keep tweeting keep stuff the movement is growing stronger it's growing stronger it's getting bigger um we'll get the snyder cut soon like it just it's done the cut's there people keep saying it's not jay olivia said that so many times it's there deal with it um and just keep the hope up. Keep hashtag keep the hashtag release the Snyder Cut movement going. Um, let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, do you agree with me? Give me a thumbs up. Um, most importantly, hit that subscribe button and join my channel. And make sure you hit the bell for notifications. And until next time, guys, be amazing.